What's good, YouTube? Sam Fatsumanu back again, uh, bringing you that dumpster finds, GameStop dumpster finds video that I told you about that I had um, in the video that I just got through recording and uploading my thrift store pickups. Um, I got my son <laughs> distracted. Uh, at two years old, he loves the freaking Ninja Turtles. I thought he'd be scared of like some of it you know for just a two-year-old but he freaking loves this show so while he's watching that I can go ahead and make my uh, GameStop dumpster finds video all right so hang on just a second all right guys welcome back so like I said I found a few things uh, last night I've actually been going uh, and checking the dumpsters so far almost this entire week um, later on tonight I plan on going but uh Monday night and Tuesday night were basically busts. Uh, Wednesday night is when I found all this stuff. Now, it's not a lot, but it's more than what I have been finding. And like I've said before, many times, you know, as long as they keep throwing stuff out, that's a good sign, you know, and I'll keep checking. But, um, of course, the night that I um, don't record any live dive footage is when I actually find stuff. But, um, yeah, we'll see what later on tonight um, what tonight, what later on tonight brings, uh, and I'll definitely record, even if it's a bust or not. Monday and Tuesday, I did not get around to checking the actual dumpster at GameStop because Mr. Sherlock Holmes, that one GameStop employee, was there. And this was like after 12, uh, so I just headed on over to my, uh, Michael's spot and checked. Um, even Michael's, it's been a while now since I found anything at Michael's, but, um, I did not check Monday and Tuesday at the uh, GameStop dumpster. I got lucky last night um, even though Mr. Sherlock Holmes was there he actually he actually left you know as soon as I uh, um, drove up to the uh, my little parking my little parking spot behind the theater but Monday and Tuesday it didn't look like he was going anywhere and I don't have the time like before, I used to be able to uh, hang out for a while and go home and double back like at 1 or 2 in the morning. But because of my work and school schedule has changed, I don't have I don't have that luxury anymore of, um, you know, wait, wait, waiting for people to leave or doubling back at 1 or 2 in the morning. I mean, I, I can probably double back on my nights off, um, mainly because the uh, GameStop is right down the road from my house, but... Because I've got like a lot of other stuff going on. Like I said, my schedule um, has changed. I don't do that anymore. So I missed out Monday and Tuesday. Who knows what was in there. Um, Wednesday, the uh, the trash gets taken. So hopefully tonight, you know, but I scored Wednesday night. So, but ho hopefully tonight when I go, um, if Sherlock Holmes is there, hopefully he leaves. And I don't, I don't have to wait and then go home and wait wait until the next day, you know. Or hopefully he's not there at all. But let me go ahead and show you what I did find Wednesday. Um, found a few of these uh, Skylanders Swap Force uh, posters. See, like they're rubber band uh, together. Read the books. Uh, this is basically what this one is. As you can see. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I don't plan on keeping it. Uh, me and my wife hopefully will have another yard sale before the weather gets too cold and, you know, before winter, of course. But if not, then I'll just give these away. I'll put these on my online Facebook page, online um, yard sale Facebook page and see if anyone wants these. But got a few of these right here and I've got this one. That's what it looks like right there on that side. On the other side, there's that right there. So same deal with um, these ones. You know, I'll just give these away, or if I can't sell them too cheap, I'll just give them away. Or if they don't, if I or if I can't find enough people to give them away, to I'll just throw them back away. But um, yeah, let's move up here real quick. I found this player's guide for success. GameStop power to the players. I don't know why I grabbed it. It just looked interesting. It's one of their um, 
training guides, folders, whatever for the employees. You know, we have a bunch of stuff here. I'll bring it into the light, better light so you can see it. Customer experience training, proper handling of exchanges and returns, trades training, and hiring power players. Yeah. And it also has some, um, there's nothing in here. Um, there's a bunch of that. It has some, uh, I'm assuming DVDs. As you can see right there, that one says customer experience training September 2008. Proper handling, exchanges and returns, December 2008. Trades training interview, January 2009. On the job training skills, February 2009. And then there's one back here. Selling skills, May 2009. Now I actually, I actually am a little interested to see a little bit of this to see what their actual training is. And then, you know, just, then you can go off of, uh, oh, I can go off of what I see here and see if they actually practice that. What do you want, son? Want something to drink? Your show? Okay, hang on just a second. All right, and we're back. So like I said, I mean, I just kind of, I, I kind of want to skim through these and play these and watch bits and pieces here and there, not like sit down and make it a freaking movie night. Because this is boring as hell. But just to get an idea of what they're supposed to be doing. Um, you know, but even though, even though this, even though if, if this does give me an idea of how they're supposed to be handling stuff, it's not like I'm, I'm going to go in there and say, yeah, you're doing this wrong. Uh, and I haven't been in GameStop, wow, for, I can actually say a couple of years now. But it'll just be something fun, interesting to do, you know, just to see a few bits and pieces of it. But yeah, so I found that. I found another folder, and I grabbed it because, of course, it says PlayStation. Um, I like PlayStation. There's, there's nothing in it, but I could use it to put some stuff. Uh, I don't know, some things I find PlayStation related. Uh, found this is my second copy that I found of this the first one I found a while back and this one uh, Wednesday night it's just funny to see uh, strat guides pop up here and there you know after a while of nothing but it's one of my favorite games uh, Red Dead Redemption it's, uh, it's got some a little that well not a lot of damage this is the only thing this was already ripped out oh, excuse me it's a big ass map Red Dead Redemption towns and settlements. Pretty big. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna open it. But um, overall, the strat guide is in really good shape, and this is something I plan to add to my strat guide collection. The other one that I found, um, I gave to my uh, nephew because he's a big fan of uh, the game. But this one's in a lot better shape than the other one was. But this will be the only one that I have of this game as far as strat guides go. Moving on over a few random things, uh, PSP manual, some pamphlet thing for the Wii remote, PlayStation 3 pamphlet instructions, f content and firm firmware update instructions, uh, USB cord maybe for a PlayStation 3 controller, kind of looks like it. Found the game an Xbox game, original Xbox, Platinum Hits, Sonic, uh, Sonic Heroes, and it's actually complete. The game's a little dirty, but there does not seem to be a ton of scratches. Uh, I'm sure to play. I do not own an Xbox, so I have no real way of testing it out. More than likely, I'll try to sell this. Found another one of these. End Wars, uh, Tom Clancy's End War bonus uh, discs. And up here I found a few PSP accessories. Found this hard case uh, GameStop brand for the uh, the games. When I first saw uh, saw this, I was like, holy crap, I got a freaking handheld of some sort. But uh, ended up just being this hard case. Open it for you because I put some stuff in there that I did. And I also found two of these cards. 
this uh, PSP memory stick there you go focus memory stick dual and then um, this scan disk memory memory stick pro dual I have a bunch of these but yeah so I got that and it's in good shape just needs to be maybe wiped down a little bit and um, staying with that PSP theme um, this little soft case to put your PSP in I'm assuming this is a car charger for the PSP a um, bunch of PSP accessories this thing right here as you can see if it'll focus Sony PSP and then the last thing I found was um, for the Wii the uh, power brick power cord or whatever and that's about it but um, not bad for how slow it's been you know um, hopefully tonight when I go hopefully there's no one there so I can actually check and um, record some stuff even if it is a bust I'll still record something I'm hoping Mr. Sherlock Holmes isn't there because I can't afford to wait too long or double back like how I said but uh, yeah guys go out and check your dumpsters um, yeah, you, you'll come across nothing, you know, but then, you know, who hasn't? Just keep going out there. Don't give up. They're still throwing stuff away. You'll, you'll still come across some things. And if, you know, like I said before, again, um, it's a good, I mean, at least they're not throwing nothing out or, or nothing that you can get to, you know what I mean? Might not be the gold mine or the... Uh, the gold at the end of the rainbow but it's something all right so thanks for watching you guys like comment subscribe let me know what you think check out my other video of me and my son tyson <laughs> my uh, thrift store finds that i just recorded and uploaded and my other videos uh, thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos take care and i will see you in the next one